What is up guys, Rick Kakis here and today we're taking an in-depth look at the Destiny leveling system, going over pretty much all of the current activities and the corresponding loot that drops. Now the reason we're doing this is that yesterday with the release of the Wrath of the Machine Heroic Mode, there was also the release of patch 2.4.1. This patch brought about drastic light level changes to pretty much every activity. So the light level has been raised to 400 and now activities are dropping drastically different light level gear than they were before. So in today's video we're going to go over all of those changes, really give you guys the roadmap for how to level up to the new maximum light level of 400 and also discuss the best and fastest ways to level up to 400 after this new patch. So let's get started by going over all of the different activities and the loot that drops. There's a few different tiers of these quote unquote end game activities so let's start with the lowest one which is the 365 light level tier. So the activities and the things that will get you 365 gear is firstly decrypting rare engrams. So if you decrypt a blue engram you're going to get up to 365 light gear. Additionally, the normal non-heroic SIVA Strike playlist will give you 365 gear from just killing bosses. So when you kill a boss and they usually drop around two blue items, those can go up to 365. Now moving on, we have the 385 light level category. So all of these things can drop loot up to 385. Firstly, legendary purple engrams. All of those are decrypting up to 385 with patch 2.4.1. Next we have Archon's Forge normal loot. So boots, helmets, weapons, those are going to be dropping up to 385. Next we have the heroic SIVA strike playlist. So when you kill a boss in this activity, the blues that it drops are going to go of course up to 385. And lastly we have the normal mode Wrath of the Machine raid. I'm a little bit disappointed by this because it's going to be so much easier to get to 385. A lot of people are going to be attempting their first run through when they're in the 380s, 385 and by that point the loot they're getting is already kind of under leveled so I don't necessarily agree with that placement. However, moving on we have another light level category and that is the 390 category. Now this category includes all of the packages rewards. So we have all of the faction packages, Dead Orbit, Future War Cult, New Monarchy, Crucible packages, Vanguard packages, Gunsmith packages, House of Judgment packages, Queen's Wrath packages, and Crota's Bane packages. So basically anytime you level up pretty much any faction in Destiny, all of the loot you get in those faction packages can go all the way up to 390. So don't forget about those more obscure factions like House of Judgment and Queen's Wrath that no one really does anymore. If your faction for House of Judgment is nearly leveled up, you may want to spend some time and actually complete it. Because again, you can get all the way up to 390 light level gear. However, we are going to move on to the last category for light levels in Destiny, and that is the maximum 400 light level category. All of these things can drop loot all the way up to 400 light. Firstly, rounding out engrams, we have exotic engrams. Next, we have the limited time PvP events. Both Iron Banner and Trials of Osiris are getting their gear rewards kicked up to 400. And speaking of PvP, Crucible Legendary drops at the end screen can also go all the way up to 400. So if you're playing the Crucible, make sure to be using high light gear. Additionally, we have the Nightfall. We have Strike Horde Chests. So if you open the chest at the end of any strike with a skeleton key, the loot inside can go all the way to 400. Next we have the Archon's Forge again, but this time specifically for Ghosts, 
artifacts, and class items. So those three things can drop all the way up to 400. However, the rest of the gear, boots, and other armor, and the weapons can only go to 385. And lastly, of course, we have the heroic mode for the Wrath of the Machine raid. So that is the new roadmap for how to reach the new maximum light level of 400. And now we're going to discuss the best ways to level up. Now I will say with packages, if you do have, you know, Queen's Wrath almost leveled up, make sure you're not leveling those up or putting a bunch of resources into your faction packages. Yes, you could go to, you know, Dead Orbit, for example, use a bunch of moats and a bunch of materials and heavy synth and whatever, and level it up a bunch of times, get a bunch of faction packages, and advance your light level. However, you really want to hold off on doing that until you are around 385, because that is kind of to bridge the gap between 385 and 400 so don't be spamming packages and wasting your resources if you're below 385 in fact if you're not 385 yet the number one activity to do I think has changed before I was saying just do the heroic SIVA strikes you get a lot of stuff done at the same time you're leveling up your faction you're leveling up your vanguard especially if you have a vanguard booster active you can open the strike horde chests which of course are fantastic go all the way up to 400 and you're getting exotic engrams if you're popping three of coins and of course the blues that drop from bosses are now scaled to 385. However, while that is still a great activity to do, especially if you do have that booster, I think Archon's Forge has now become a lot more viable, potentially the fastest way to level up to 385. The thing about Archon's Forge is that as long as you're doing fused and enhanced offerings, it is so much easier than doing heroic SIVA strikes. You can easily complete a fused offering in about two minutes, especially if you have teammates nearby. And all of the loot you're getting is going all the way up to 385. Additionally, you have the ghosts, artifacts, and class items dropping up to the maximum light level. So even if you're just reaching 385, it's still worth it to do the Archon's Forge, maybe get that 385 you know helmet that you didn't have you had a 383 helmet but also be getting all of those other things ghost artifacts and class items even higher and especially artifacts artifacts can kind of be a sticking point they can really hold you down when you're trying to advance your light levels and so getting a decent artifact in the Archon's Forge heck when I was playing it earlier I got 385 boots and a 395 artifact just for doing like a fused offering both of those things for one fused offering and yes you're not guaranteed to get rewards like you are at the end of a heroic SIVA strike with the blues from a boss drop up, but you're doing them so often even if you're getting rewards once every three offerings if you have a decent team there and you're pounding out offerings pretty often you can easily complete like three offerings at a time it takes to do one heroic strike and so again Archon's Forge is no joke now if you're below 385 and you want a really fast and incredibly easy way to level up to 385 Archon's Forge is what you want to do. However, once you do reach 385, I think it shifts back over to the Heroic SIVA Strike playlist. Because Exotic Engrams, if you're popping three of coins, and Strike Horde Chests are giving you fantastic loot, and you are leveling up your factions as well, and hopefully getting a few of those packages. Now, if you can, the real best way to level up at this point is the Heroic Wrath of the Machine raid. I know a lot of people are having trouble with the raid, but it is a fantastic place to get really high light level drops. Just from the end of killing bosses, you're going to get high light level gear, and there was the addition of the Heroic Chests that you can open with the SIVA Cash Keys. So you're basically getting double rewards every time on every character like it's just throwing a ton of really high light level gear at you but again if you can't attempt that if you don't have a team ready or just aren't prepared for the hard mode raid it's really just a mix of the pvp activities 
Crucible, Iron Banner, and Trials of Osiris. Those are all going to be dropping very highlight gear. And even if you kind of suck at Trials, just getting gear at the end of a match is going to be very, very high light level gear. So just attempt that. Even if you lose all the time, you should every once in a while be getting, you know, a random chess piece or something. And that will have a very high light level. Aside from that though, again in PvE you're best just grinding those heroic strikes to get exotic engrams and the horde chests, doing the nightfall when you can, and doing Archon's Forge when you're missing a ghost artifact or class item that's really holding you back. Now guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you want to see more Destiny content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at RickKakis. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.